On today's video, we're going to show you how to install a wireless access point. Just the basics, just the fundamentals, let's get started. Okay, here are the supplies and tools you're going to need to install the access point. First, we're going to need measuring tape, drill, hammer, pencil, drill bits. You're going to need a stud finder. And if you're going to make your own patch cables, long cables, you'll need some cable. We're going to use Cat6A. Also the connectors, the boots, crimping tool, wire stripper, and don't forget, if you're going to go in the attic, make sure you've got adequate mask. Also gloves as well. And of course, you'll need a ladder to access the attic and the ceiling where you're going to install the access point. Okay, first thing you want to do is determine the center of your home. That's where the access point should be located. And right here you can see is our WX630 access point. Now this is a Wi-Fi 6 access point and we get great coverage throughout the house. So my plan is to leave that access point where it's at. Our location for the new access point will be about right here, and I'll drill a hole through the ceiling into the attic. We'll run our Cat6A wiring through the attic all the way to the network panel in our closet. And then we'll attach the mounting kit with the provided hardware. Go ahead and mark the location of our access point ceiling mount bracket. Now I've already checked this area prior to coming up here. And right here seems okay. You can tap here. I'm gonna show you how this works like this. Okay, and it hooks on. Then you pull this up, tab up, and it comes out like that. So we want to put it like right here. First thing we're going to do, trusty pencil, and we'll go ahead and mark right there. And at this point, we're gonna test out that bracket to make sure it holds, and it does. Next, we'll drill the hole for the Cat6A cable to go up into the attic. So now we're gonna push all the cable up into the attic. And then go in the attic and I'll find the cable and I'll drop it into the network panel. This is a lot of cable, so I'll fast forward this. Now we're gonna slide this onto the bracket, like so. And then we can just run this cable up and out of the way. Perfect, you can't see it at all. All right, let's go to the attic. Like I always say, be careful when working in the attic. All right, this is the attic, and back here is where the wire is. All right, here we are. Let's go check it out, shall we? Remember, you need to walk on these cross beams, otherwise you're gonna fall through the ceiling, and that would hurt. And voila, there is all of our wire. Kick away the insulation to reveal the cross beams. And then we'll grab that wire. So we got the wire. Good. There we go. We're good now. At this point, we're going to work our way back towards the middle of the attic. All right, we're going to use the old bolt on a string to run the wire down the hole into the network panel. We'll attach this end to the Cat6 cable. We'll drop this down to the network panel. Because of the weight of this bolt, it will go straight down to the network panel. Guaranteed. And then when we go downstairs, I'll pull this through and it'll bring the other end down. It'll bring that Cat6A cable down through there. And then I'll plug it into the switch and then we're done. So here we're gonna drop that bolt on a string through that hole that leads to the network panel below. And then wait for the sound of that bolt hitting the bottom. You can hear it down there. Good to go. Let's go downstairs and pull it through. And the old bolt on a string always works. Now we'll plug it in to our ingenious eight port PoE switch right here. I've got a spot for it right there. And then uh, we'll get looking pretty and test our new access point. Make sure everything works correctly. And here's the finished network panel all cleaned up. And this is the Cat6A wire that connects to the ingenious eight port switch. It connects right here. So if you're looking for a Wi-Fi 6E access point that's not too big, has a very intuitive app, and can be used for home or business, then the ECW336 is a great choice. And there'll be a link in the description below for this access point. Well guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.